सब्सक्राइब टू प्रोग्राम आ डी पी आर यूट्यूब चैनल बी कनेक्टेड इन व्हाट्सएप एंड टेलीग्राम टू द लिंक आर इन डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो स्टेप वन फर्स्ट अनरजिस्टर द डी एस सी ऑफ बोथ मेकर एंड चेकर इन तालुक लॉग इन स्टेप टू आफ्टर अनरजिस्टरिंग द डी एस सी वेट फॉर टू डेज एंड देन लॉग इन टू पी एफ एम एस ऑफ ग्राम पंचायत यूजर step 3 if they do no pfms user credentials ask them to reset with agency unique code you will get in egram swaraj step 4 once login in pfms go to my scheme there deactivate scheme bank account there select the scheme ka rlb xvfc karnatak ka 212 then try to search their existing bank account details will come select the check box and enter the remarks and submit the request
Step 6. Once login in PFMS, go to my scheme there, register new scheme there, select the scheme ka RLB XVFC Karnatak ka 212 and then select funding agency has I will receive funds from this agency and their select department of rural development and panchayat raj then select new bank name and enter the account no dot and name as per passbook and then select the agency account scheme component mapping and save the details. Step 7. Once registration is saved then send the passbook copy to UR DPMU state team to approve the account. Once it is approved, then login into PFMS and then check my scheme Mange new account details is showing and it is approved by bank and all. Step 8. 
once all are approved, map the new bank branch name in Igramaswaraj ADM login in bank details. If branch name is not there means contact your DPMU and inform them to create in their district admin login. Step 9. Once new branch is mapped in Egramaswaraj then PLZ wait till the new account details show in Maker Login in Bank Account View PFMS Details option, it may take 3 to 4 days PLZ wait until it show. Step 10. Once account details is shown try to add account number details in ADM login at bank details then you can register the DSC of both maker and checker and take approval from EO. Step 11. Generate the DSC. Once DSC is approved from PFMS, you can process further and can initiate the payments. Step 12. If vendor account details is also get merged with other bank means then modify the vendor beneficiary account details and re-approve the vendor beneficiary and try to initiate the payment. Thank you.